you have faith in miracles, don't you, this is a story that you should definitely pay attention to if you haven't already, because the story I'm going to tell you about a lady in a pack of wolves is so unbelievable that even the most experienced scientists would find it hard to believe it would ever happen, in Minnesota, Mary Cranick, who was 25 years old at the time, enjoyed a life that was rather average. Ever since she was a teenager, she has had the desire to one day start her own family. Buy a large house with a garden, and possibly even have a dog as a pet, Mary's pregnancy, which occurred when she was 24 years old, appeared to be the moment when her goals would finally be realized, the couple, who were both dedicated to their husband, were looking forward to the arrival of their first child with great excitement during the course of the pregnancy, there were no difficulties. In January of 2015, when Mary was just one month advanced in her pregnancy, she found herself traveling. Home amid a massive snowstorm that coated the streets after many days of continuous precipitation, in the midst of her journey through a forested region where the roads remained obscured, her SUV became entangled in the snow when Mary realized that she was unable to move, she exited the vehicle in the hopes of receiving assistance from a passing motorist, she did not have her mobile phone with her at the time. On the other hand, the snowstorm that was getting worse made it difficult to rescue. Anyone Mary's predicament became increasingly precarious with each passing minute, she began to experience discomfort as a result of the cold, and the diminishing amount of fuel in her vehicle provided no relief, Mary was confronted with the impending danger of hypothermia as the night wore on and the snow continued to fall, Mary made the decision to travel in the direction of civilization in order to find assistance because her home was located several kilometers away and the town was located a shorter distance in the opposite direction. When she had just about completed a half kilometer of walking, an amazing occurrence took place, she began to have contractions, as soon as Mary realized that she was unable to continue, she sought sanctuary close to a tree that was only partially covered in snow, there, she waited for assistance, shocked by the unexpected turn of events, she dragged herself as far as she could with every ounce of power she had left. And then she dropped into the ground, completely and utterly weary, what is it? That you are doing to me, God, please, please help me, she pleaded before she finally gave in to the intense cold and the excruciating discomfort, and she lost consciousness after only five minutes of being in this condition, it was possible that this would have been the awful conclusion to her narrative, with simply a lifeless form remaining in the snow, on the other hand. The events that followed are incomprehensible by any form of explanation when Mary regained awareness, she felt warmth and recognized that her head was resting against the fur of a majestic gray wolf, most likely the leader of the pack, I'm not sure how much time had passed since I blacked out, she said later, but when I regained consciousness, I realized that my head was resting against something, around me, there were perhaps ten additional wolves that encircled me and provided me with protection from the unrelenting snowstorm. I was perplexed since I did not have any feelings of terror, it was almost as if I were dreaming, not only did they not exhibit any aggressive behavior, but they also did not in any way constitute a threat to me. Mary gave birth to her child in the midst of the snow approximately 20 minutes later, while the wolves were present to provide protection for her, a female wolf approached the infant with great caution and affectionately licked him. Demonstrating an extraordinary level of care and comprehension of the young animal, Mary was surrounded by the remaining wolves, who provided her with warmth and comfort as they nestled together. While Mary's baby's cries pierced the air, indicating that he was alive, she hugged him close to her chest, and she never once felt abandoned by her lupin companions, while this was going on, Mary's husband was becoming increasingly worried as the hours went by and there was no indication that his wife had actually returned, in the course of his search for her, he went into the woods with a couple of his friends and neighbors, and he drove an off-road vehicle along the path that everyone believed she might have taken, their hearts sank with dread as they came across Mary's snow-covered automobile while they were traveling somewhere, one of them was carrying a rifle as they pressed forward on foot, dreading the worst possible outcome, which could be a kidnapping, the feeling of fear that they were experiencing became even more intense when they finally saw the pack of wolves that was just a few hundred yards away. A shot was fired as a warning, and they implored the wolves to flee in the opposite direction, despite the fact that the wolves complied, they continued to remain close by, a few meters into the woodland, their presence remaining a perplexing mystery, as the men got closer, 
they were taken aback to see the woman and her newborn child tucked away in the snow, it was unbelievable, the men recalled at a later time, throughout the entirety of the incident. The pack of wolves remained stubbornly at the woman's side, this was the case even as the men brought her to. The safety of their vehicle, with the animals following them from a careful distance, a little over an hour later, the woman found herself in a hospital, and in the days that followed, she and the people who had rescued her told their incredible story to a newspaper in the United States. Even seasoned hunters and rangers expressed their surprise and said that they had never seen anything like to what was described in the story, which attracted significant attention, specialists believe that the wolves instinctively banded together to protect the woman after smelling the scent of the newborn after they had detected it. This behavior is reminiscent of the instinctual behavior that was observed in a bear that removed a human infant from a garbage can at one point, that's all about the first story and now let's watch another similar story, Amber Smalls was taking a leisurely stroll through the woods close to her hometown on a typical summer day when all of a sudden, a hearty howl pierced the air, causing her to come to a complete and utter halt, due to the fact that the howl appeared to be in close proximity, there was apprehension that the origin could emerge from the thicket at any given moment, a few moments later, the howl reverberated once more, this time conveying a tone of distress, which increased Amber's anxiety for the animal that was showing signs of suffering, Amber was motivated by compassion, and she cautiously followed the sound in the direction it was coming from, eventually, she came across a sight that broke her heart. A lone wolf was lying in the darkness among the trees, whimpering in. Misery Amber was initially cautious to approach the wild beast because she was also aware of the potential risks that could be encountered, in spite of this, she became aware of the wolf's predicament as she examined it and discovered that it was trapped in ancient barbed wire, which rendered it immobile, Amber was able to sense the wolf's fragility and made the decision to assist it, despite the initial growls it made, after retrieving her pocket knife with firm hands, she began to slowly, Release the animal from its entanglement with the use of the pocket knife, the wolf kept a watchful eye on her throughout the stressful minutes, but it did not make any unfriendly or aggressive movements, as a result of Amber's compassion and determination, the wolf was eventually able to recover its freedom after the final wire was cut, it was immediately followed by the woman taking a step back to give the animal some breathing room, Amber watched as the wolf, which she now recognized as a female, stretched out. But her alarm increased when she discovered that the she-wolf was limping, it was clear that one of the wires had been deeply implanted in her leg through the process of observation despite the fact that she was injured, the she-wolf turned towards Amber after examining her, she limped over to her and softly rubbed her head on her, she did this instead of running away into the forest, Amber was taken aback when she realized that the wild animal was owing her appreciation for the assistance that she had provided, because Amber was aware that the she-wolf would be unable to care for herself due to her injured leg and that she might starve to passing if she did not receive assistance, she made the decision to assist her. Over the course of the subsequent weeks, Amber made daily trips to the forest, bringing food for the she-wolf to the clearing where they had their initial encounter. By ensuring that the she-wolf was provided with a considerable amount of meat, she helped to cultivate a deep bond between the two of them, both of them very much looked forward to their everyday interactions, one day, however, Amber did not show up at the location where they had previously agreed to meet, which left the she-wolf bewildered and concerned, as the she-wolf was not accustomed to Amber skipping their scheduled appointments, she made the decision to wait another day, however, Amber did not show up for the second time, because she was worried, the she-wolf made the decision to look for her companion leaving the woodland, she followed Amber's path until she reached a graveyard where a number of people had gathered around a coffin, she then proceeded to leave the area, as she reached the scene, Martin, Amber's husband, who was standing there with tears in his eyes, the she-wolf approached, it became clear to the she-wolf that Amber had passed away unexpectedly, leaving her spouse in a state of utter devastation and shock due to the suddenness of the unfortunate loss at the moment when the mourners were getting ready to bury Amber. The she-wolf raced approached the casket and growled, which caused the company to be scared, Martin, however, was able to identify the she-wolf as the one that his wife frequently mentioned after doing a more thorough examination, seeing how determined she was to locate Amber, he was impressed, the she-wolf sniffed around the coffin, expressing both impatience and eagerness, she even attempted to open the coffin by biting and scratching it, at first, there were several mourners who attempted to intervene, 
but the growls of the she-wolf dissuaded them from doing so, eventually, with a violent swipe, the lid of the coffin opened, exposing an unexpected sight, Amber emerged, gasping for air, startling everyone who was present, instantaneously, Martin came to her aid and assisted her in removing herself from the casket, he then proceeded to contact the authorities and a physician, as Amber was recuperating on the ground, the she-wolf approached her and affectionately licked her face. Throughout the entire process, after realizing that she owed the animal her life, Amber showed her gratitude by returning the animal's adoration, however, that was not the conclusion of the narrative, Amber had an examination to identify the cause of her apparent passing as soon as the police and the doctor arrived at the scene from their respective locations, it was determined by the physician that she was suffering from catalepsy, a disorder that is characterized by trance-like states and loss. Of awareness, it was a fortunate turn of events that the she-wolf's acute senses were able to discover that Amber was still alive, which ultimately led to her prompt rescue from the coffin.